this is going to be a very quick review of the Bobbi Brown BB Cream. Um, this is what it looks like right here. Mine's not full size. Mine was a 100 point perk from Sephora. It's SPF 35, but it's rather large. It's actually half a fluid ounce, so that's pretty good for a 100 point perk. Um, you guys know if you've been watching my channel, I love reviewing BB Creams. I've reviewed a lot of them. I'll link some of them down below if you want to check out my opinions on them, but I feel like I have a good understanding of what makes a good BB Cream and what doesn't. So prior to myself showing you myself applying it, I'm just going to read from the website some things it claims to do. Um, covers imperfections and even skin tone, draws moisture to skin and helps skin tone, brightens dull skin instantly and over time, helps reduce the look of wrinkles and shields against UVA, UVB rays because it has the SPF 35 in it. It comes in nine shades. The shade I have is fair. And um, when you watch myself applying it, I am wearing it right now, but when you watch myself applying it right after this, it's a tad dark for me, I say in that, um, although I'm not convinced because now that I've put on my makeup, I feel like it's not. I feel like it looks okay. So I'll talk about that more after I show you myself applying it. But yeah, that's what it claims to do and it retails for $44. So now I'll show you myself applying it. Alright, so I'm starting with a completely bare face. I put moisturizer on a little while ago. It's sunken in now. Here's the package here. I'm just going to put some on my finger. I'm going to start with about that much product. It holds shape quite well, as you can see, it looks pretty thick at this point. But I'm curious to see how it feels on my face. I'm just rubbing it between my fingers. And I'm gonna dab it all over my face. And right away, just looking in the mirror here in front of me, it looks like it might be a shade too dark or perhaps too orange. I don't know if that's showing up in the camera or not. It's my dog if you hear it. <laughs> but yeah, I think this may be a tad dark for me right now as we're heading into winter. It feels, it was smooth when it first went on and now it's starting to feel sticky and tacky. I'm not sure if it's drying already or what the deal is, but oh, it's getting really hard to blend already, so maybe it dries super fast. So that's one coat. It wouldn't say the coverage is good at all at this point. Um, just to kind of put some color down, but not much coverage. I can still see zits and you know um, dark circles and pigmentation. So before this completely dries, I'm gonna grab a bit more because sometimes it takes two coats with BB creams to get the level of coverage I'm looking for. So I'm curious if this builds well or not. Second coat is almost dry already as well, making sure to take it down my neck because the color is a tad bit off, but it did add, um, definitely did add coverage, so that's good. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the, the texture of this, like it feels quite heavy almost. Um, it's sticky right now, and I just, I can feel it on my skin, like I know that it's there. I don't know if it's going to dry differently, but at this point I don't like the feeling. It was relatively easy to blend in, but along my hairline and such, and as it dried it got more difficult, so um, definitely wasn't one of the easiest, but it wasn't the worst BB cream to blend in. Yeah, it's almost, I wouldn't call it dry, but it's almost set at this point. So I'll zoom in real quick so you can see, I'm already pretty close, but the coverage so it did do a better job of coverage on the second go around as far as um, like redness and dark circles and whatnot. You can still see my zit right here, but again, it is a BB cream and not a foundation. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and then tell you my final thoughts. All right, so overall opinion now that I've put on my makeup, the rest of my makeup went on really beautifully. Um, I just used the NARS, the NARS Crystal Light Reflecting Powder, setting powder that I usually do. I don't have any browns or on or anything, just some blush um, with a little bit of shimmery if that's all I have on my face. And like I said, everything went on fine. The color now um, that it's on, I don't know if it's self-adjusting to a point, but it definitely appears lighter now and it appears like it matches my skin tone, even in my hairline. So I don't think the color is a huge issue, which is great. Um, coverage wise, it did okay. Uh, it covered most things, but it's definitely not the highest coverage BB cream I've ever tried. It dried down. I 
I mean, it's not as sticky. The setting powder definitely helped with that. But my one con about this is that it feels heavy-ish. I wouldn't call it super heavy, but you can tell that it's there. I feel like I have something on my skin. And maybe it's because I put on two coats. Who knows? But I wasn't happy with the first coat, so I did have to go in and do a second. Um, and I am aware that it's on my skin, so I'm not a really big fan of it for that. Uh, let's see what else it claimed to do. Just even skin tone, which it did. Draw moisture to the skin. Hard to tell. I guess I'd have to wear it over time to see. Brightens dull skin. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm a little bit more bright than I was before, so I'll give it that. Helps reduce look of wrinkles. I don't know. Most of my wrinkles are under my eyes here, and I can still see them, like glow crow's feet and whatnot, and I can get wrinkles in there. So I don't know, that's a hard one to judge, and it protects against the sun, which is a given. So yeah, um, if I had to rate this out of, let's say, five stars, out of all the beauty creams I've tried, I'd maybe give it a 3.5. It does its job, but I don't like the way it feels on my skin. So yeah, if you have any questions about it or you want to know more, please leave a comment down below, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.